Welcome to Yoga with Subhash. In this segment, we will be practicing a reclining pose called the reclining twist. In Sanskrit, this pose is variously known as Jathara Parivartanasana or Udara Karshanasana or Supta Matsyendrasana. So let's get started. Lie down on your back on the mat. Just relax in the Shavasana for a couple of breaths. And now bring the feet together. And now just take a few gentle deep breaths to relax the body and the spine. We'll spread the arms out and place them on the floor in line with the shoulders. And then turn the neck gently over to the left side. Now place the sole of the left foot on top of the right knee and the right hand on top of the left knee. And now gently begin to roll the left hip over the right hip guiding the left knee closer toward the floor on the right side. While you're rolling the left hip over the right, make sure that you don't allow the left shoulder and the upper torso to lift off the ground. The twisting action is most effective when the left shoulder stays firmly on the ground. Try not to use the right hand to pull the left knee down actively. Use the right hand to very gently guide the left knee and let the gravity do the work of lowering the knee closer to the floor. While you're trying to deepen the stretch, become fully aware of every part of the body that's feeling that stretch. You may start feeling the stretch in your left knee and your left hip or your stomach and then just gradually feel the stretch even building up the spine all the way to the rib cage and even maybe to the left shoulder. Try not to keep any of the muscles tight. Wherever you feel any tightness, try to relax those muscles and thus ease into the pose. As the muscles relax, you may be able to even go deeper into the pose. Throughout the pose, breathe slightly deeper breaths than your normal breath and stay in the final pose for about 8 to 10 breaths. And due to the slight compression of the diaphragm, you may feel the breathing to be slightly constricted, but that's just normal. And when you're ready to come out of the pose, gently roll back and lie in the Shavasana for a few breaths. And now we will repeat the, the above movements on the other side. So once again, begin by placing the sole of the right foot on top of the left knee. Keep the right hand onto a T on the right side. And then place the, the left hand on top of the right knee. And now gently roll the right hip over the left hip and try to guide the right knee closer to the floor on the left side. While we are trying to bring the knee close to the floor on the left side, gently roll your neck over to the right side. As before, try not to use the left hand to actively pull the knee down. The left hand is placed on top of the knee for just gentle guidance. Allow the gravity to bring the knee closer to the floor on the left side. Again, become totally aware of how the stretch feels and where it feels most. And if there is any kind of tightness in the muscles, just mentally let go of the tightness. Relax the muscles and release any tightness. And then try to maintain the final pose for about 8 to 10 breaths. 
When you're ready to come out of the pose, gently roll back and then lie down in Shavasana for a few breaths. And now we'll do a variation of this pose. And in this variation, we will be trying to lower the knees together closer to the floor on either side. So once again, bend the knees and then just lift the feet off the floor. Try to bring the knees close to the chest. Again, begin by spreading the arms out into a T in line with the shoulders. And then place the right hand on top of the left knee. Roll the neck over to your left side. And very gently, once again, begin to guide the knees together this time over to the right side. Again, in this stretch, our effort is to keep the knees close to each other, almost glued to each other. Also, we want to keep the knees close to the chest and then try to lower both the knees closer to the floor on the right side. Again, avoid pulling the knees actively toward the floor. Just allow the gravity to gently guide the knees closer to the floor. And again, stay in the final position for about 8 to 10 breaths if that's comfortable. When you're ready to come out, Release the hands down and then slowly bring the knees back up to the starting position. Just rest there with the knees bent and the feet flat on the ground for a few breaths. And now switch sides and then use the left hand to guide the knees closer to the floor on the left side. Keep the right arm in line with the shoulders. Gently roll the neck over to the right side and with the left hand very gently begin to guide the knees closer to the floor on the left side. And as before, we will try to keep the knees very close to each other and also the knees close to the chest and then gently guiding the knees closer and closer to the floor on the left side. Just become aware of the stretch in different parts of the body, in particular your outer hip area, the thighs, the spine and the abdomen. Try to maintain the final pose for about 8 to 10 breaths. And now when you are ready to come out of the pose, gently roll back to the center and then Stretch the legs out into the Shavasana for a few more breaths. Now we'll, we'll get ready for the next variation. So this time again, bend the knees. Place the feet flat on the ground, close to the edges of the mat. And now begin by bringing the right knee close to the floor and close to the left heel. While we are rolling the right knee down, lift the left foot up and place the top of the left foot on top of the right knee. Again, we'll spread the arms out to a T in line with the shoulders. Look gently over the right shoulder. And again, this time we are going to use the left foot to gently guide the knees, both the knees closer to the floor on the left side. And this stretch provides a very nice stretch on the outside of the thigh, the outside of the hip area and of course the spine. Again try not to pull the knee actively with the foot, just a gentle guidance. We're trying to bring both the knees close to the floor if that's possible or comfortable. Maintain the final pose for a total of about 8 to 10 breaths. When you're ready to come back, roll back to the center, pause for a brief moment.
Just relax. And then we will repeat this move on the other side. So again, the starting position is with the feet wide apart, almost to the position at the edge of the mat. Knees are bent. And then begin by lowering the left knee closer to the right heel on the floor. And while the left knee is coming down, lift the right foot up and place the top of the right foot on top of the left knee. This time roll the neck over to the left side and begin to gently guide the knee down close to the floor with the right foot. So the effort is to try and bring both the knees closer and closer to the floor on the right side. Again, making sure you do not strain or cause any kind of discomfort. And try to maintain the final pose for about 8 to 10 breaths. When you're ready to come out, gently roll back into the center. And then once again, finally, stretch the legs out and then lie down in Shavasana and relax for a few more moments now. I thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed practicing with me. As always, I would love to get your feedback, your comments and suggestions for any future videos that you would like me to offer for your practice.